I'm Allie, and I'm going to be talking to you about the benefits of dehorning cattle. First of all, dehorning is a process used to remove horns from the heads of cows. Both female and male animals have horns. That is bulls, cows, heifers. They all have horns regardless of their gender. Cattle that are dehorned usually sell for more than horned cattle, sometimes by even more than a dollar a pound. Horned animals have the possibility of harming other animals, people, or even other cows with their horns. Bruised meat is less valuable than unbruised meat, and it is twice as commonly found in horned animals. Bruised cattle due to horns cause over $20 million of loss to the cattle industry every year in the United States. Dehorning cattle is a fast and easy way to prevent harm to people and other animals. Hornless cattle often are sold for more, while horned cattle can cause you to have a lower profit. Let's see how dehorning cattle can be safer. So first, preventing harm to humans and other animals is a way that dehorning can be safer. Horned cattle are more hazardous to other animals than hornless ones because their horns are easily able to be hit against another animal accidentally or even on purpose and can either bruise or break bones or even completely go through somebody's body. Transporting horned cattle can be hazardous to other cattle because, like I said, they'd be in a confined area and their horns can smack up against other animals and accidentally go through one of their necks or something like that. Hornless cattle are also safer for humans to work with because if a cow isn't very friendly, it can purposely harm someone with their horns or it'd be harder to give vaccines because animals don't exactly like having needles put in them and if they get spooked or jump and smack with their head, they will tend, they can hurt somebody with their horns. So now I can explain the values of hornless beef, beef versus animals that do have horns. Dehorned cattle are worth more as meat for many different reasons. One of the reasons is that they don't usually have as much bruising on their bodies because the horns aren't being smacked up against other animals' bodies. If you have a herd with a bunch of horns on them, they can, if they're in confined area, like when they're in a trailer being transported to become meat, they can get a ton of bruising on them from transport and smacking against each other. So, and that's not a desirable thing in the meat industry. Cattle that have been dehorned or are naturally born without horns can get one to two dollars and fifty cents more per pound of meat sold. So, when you have about a fifteen hundred pound animal, Getting an extra dollar or two per pound is another one or two thousand dollars in your pocket. Cattle with horns are often worth less than those that are dehorned or born without horns. Bruises can cause a loss of twelve dollars per animal on average when selling beef. Twelve dollars may not seem a lot like a lot, but if you have a big herd of animals like five hundred, twelve dollars per animal, for 500 animals, is a lot of money in the end. Now that we have gone over the troubles that horns on cattle can cause, so let's see some possible solutions. Methods of dehorning and solutions are cutting off horns, and there are different ways to do this. You can, it's mainly done at a young age so that you don't stunt their growth and they don't hold it against you and aren't very friendly in the future. Um, usually before two months. Otherwise, it can cause a lot of stress on the animal in the future. Tube dehorning is a method of dehorning that cuts the horn from its roots, and hot iron dehorning cuts the horn off and cauterizes the blood vessels so that there isn't a bunch of blood everywhere, and you don't usually have to worry about horns growing back because you didn't cut them enough. Breeding in pulled genes to your herd can help because if you breed pulled genes into your cattle herd, it means that you're breeding in genes of cattle that are naturally born without horns. You won't have to dehorn them. So you'll get some offspring that don't have horns, so you don't have to worry about dehorning in the first place. 
So there are many breeds of cattle that are already foaled, just like Angus and foaled Herefords. So mixing in with those breeds can bring the foaled genes in. So let's go over the benefits of dehorning once more really fast. So in summary, dehorned animals can be much safer for humans and other animals. Hornless animals can also be worth more at the market. There are many options when it comes to dehorning cattle. Thank you.